Rumba is perhaps the most simple flamenco style. It's in four quarters and it's the form that influenced the most music around the world. Rumba is quite similar to tangos, the accentuation is the same, only that rumba is faster and it has the snares that break the beat where the tangos had the kicks, while on the first beat there is a kick in most of the cases. Although it's the simplest form to assimilate, to play a good rumba groove takes some time and practice. Rumba is probably the most variated flamenco form, and there is like 50 different patterns and ways to play it. As time goes by and you master more and more flamenco techniques, you'll probably get to create your own patterns. So let's analyze all rumba grooves. Los rumberos all over Spain play many street rumba patterns, traditionally with ristrasqueo and with golpes, some of which you probably already know, they made Spanish guitar what it is today. On the street, conditions are terrible sometimes. It's difficult to hear the guitar, so this savage gypsy way of playing is sometimes the only option there is. So, since the gypsies use it just when they wish to fill the harmonic background, I'll just play it as an information at this point. So here it is, like a true rumbero. Los rumberos are street musicians that go around playing rumbas predominantly. You'll probably reach the point at which you can create your own version of a similar rumba pattern. That's why we should start with this slightly more complex groove that uses the thumb and the index finger for basses and the harmony notes separately. This way of playing, although it's a bit more difficult, will keep your right hand always at the best possible place, so you can progress and play more elaborate falsettas. The thumb plays the bass note of the chord on the first beat with straight apoyando, and then the rest of the fingers continue the way. So try putting the whole rumba pattern slowly together, with all the elements that we mentioned. Whenever you feel like it, change from finger rascale to the wrist rascale and vice versa. Of course, the rumba can vary a lot, and the repeating segment can get to be much smaller.
of percussion sounds that can be produced on the guitar is immense. Hitting the strings with fingertips close to the bridge makes a specific low kick kind of sound. But also there is a whole spectrum of percussive sounds that can be produced on the guitar. Until you start creating Roomba patterns like these yourself, let's look at this intricate style of playing a bit more closely. There is a kick like golpe on the first beat. When the groove picks up tempo, the Roomba groove played in diminution would have just two beats. It's very often used gypsy playing style. We can observe that the whole right hand has to start opening sooner, actually on the last stroke, with thumb up, so that the open palm can... Among the artists in flamenco, a very specific term is used for someone's rumba playing quality. They say, si tiene aire o no tiene aire, which literally means, if it has the air, but it refers to that specific light feel that rumba rhythm should have. It should be clear, precise and strong, but it has to keep the transparency and lightness since it should imitate the waves of the sea. So play with aire and I wish you good wind. Olé!